Sharks are one of the most enigmatic and alluring groups of animals on Earth, and most come with hidden secrets, the likes of which we'll never fully explore. Deep water sharks take this to new levels, and some of these are so elusive that they're almost legendary. Goblin sharks are one of these legends. Living well over a kilometer down, goblin sharks closely guard anything that might give us a clue as to who they are and what they want. The shark has a pink skin and a very distinct profile that features an elongated, flattened snout. Within its protruding jaws that are filled with teeth that resemble nails, their bizarre appearance, their propensity for showing up at seemingly random places all over the globe, their color, their skin, everything about these sharks makes them something that maybe shouldn't exist. But they do, and they're living fossils from well over a hundred million years ago. Goblin sharks are a type of deep-sea shark that can be found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. They have a distinctive appearance with a flat snout, small eyes, and a long protruding jaw filled with needle-like teeth. Their jaw is capable of extending out of their mouth, which they use to capture prey. And you thought your jaw popping was impressive. The most striking aspect of goblin sharks is their elongated snout which is lined with specialized electroreceptors called ampullae of Lorenzini. These receptors allow goblin sharks to detect the weak electrical fields emitted by their prey, enabling them to locate and capture food in the dark, deep waters where they live. Another unique feature of goblin sharks is their jaw, which is capable of protruding out of their mouth. This allows them to capture prey that's out of reach, and their needle-like teeth are specially adapted for grasping and holding slippery prey. It's like having a fork and knife built into your face. A goblin shark's top and bottom teeth are attached to ligaments or bands of skin tissue tucked into its mouth. When prey is just out of reach, the shark extends the elastic tissue out of the mouth to nab the grub. This allows the animal to chow down on snacks such as teleost fish and squid. It also makes the shark one jaw-dropping fish. Swishing through the deep sea, a goblin shark notices a small, yummy-looking squid. The animal inches towards its prey. But as the fish closes in, the snack starts to dart away. So the shark thrusts its jaw three inches out of its mouth. The predator then grabs the squid in its teeth. After scarfing down the meal, the shark fits its jaw back into its mouth and swims off. Goblin sharks may look like they just crawled out of a horror movie, but they're actually harmless to humans. Goblin sharks are also known for their slow and docile nature, which is quite unusual for a shark species. Goblin sharks are opportunistic feeders who will eat a variety of prey, including fish, squid, and crustaceans. They rely on their sense of smell to locate food and their jaw to capture it. Scientists don't know much about the behavior of these rarely seen animals, but they believe that goblin sharks are solitary, just like many other shark species. One strange event that might hold clues to goblin shark behavior was a peculiar moment in 2003 where it's said that between 100 and 300 individuals were caught by fishermen around the same time. Was this a mating group or a feeding frenzy? Or could it have been something to do with the corresponding earthquake flushing them out of their submarine canyon habitats? It certainly creates more questions than it answers, and frustratingly, a more recent paper claims that only 14 goblin sharks were caught during the event. Even so, the species had never been found in the area previously and has never been seen there again. So as usual, the shark manages to keep its secrets.